ABS. Oh, my knee. <sighs> Let's have a look at this cat. Look. Shit, it is not stopping. Whoa, man. Wish I had a property like that. Could just fuck around in it all day. Not have to worry about authorities. <laughs> That's the problem, living in semi-suburbia. You gotta worry about these things. Where you can ride, where you can't ride, what's legal, what's eagle, illegal. Big problem when you own a bike like this. 690 Enduro R KTM. <laughs> you guys may remember, or some of you may remember on my Facebook page, I posted, uh, I had a little mishap with the cracked radiator and I had to get towed out of the bush. And this was on an occasion where Nerb One and Riding With Tom and myself went out riding at night. And uh, anyway, I managed to have a little spill, which I'll put in here. This is it, because this is where, yeah, this is it. I have a pretty good memory of the bad places I don't ever want to go again. Oh, my fucking fairing. Where's my neutral? There we go. Yeah, the thing is, um, brakes. Oh! There are none, none to be seen. You just gotta put weight on the front forks and fucking run with it when it starts going. Here she goes. Ah, oh, this is this is definitely it, dude. One hundred. Holy shit, something's burning. Ah, I'm on fire, man. I'm on fire. Hello. Hi. Oh shit. I'm fucked, my... Fuck! It's leaking coolant. It's leaking a lot. Yes, please. Had a little spill and uh, I ended up cracking my radiator. And the problem was, it was cracked sort of down the bottom, so it just drained all the fluid out instead of just partially. And the reason for that is there's a mounting tab on the radiator itself where this bolt goes in. And that's what hit and it bent the tab or the mount and it just snapped it. Wasn't cool, man. So what I have done, I'm going to show you This is a two-part system. Oops. Has a bolt and a spacer now. Never used to be a spacer. I was lucky too, because I found that spacer once uh, when I was taking this apart. And I put it all back together and then I noticed a spacer on the ground. I go, oh, what's that to? And it's to this fairing. Uh, I'm gonna have to take the seat off. Fruit Loops. Uh. Take the seat off, take this off, and now, you, oh, don't want to do that. And now you can see the radiator has extra protection. Amazing. It's a steel frame that encases the entire radiator. It's got a, oh, you can't see it, you've got a cross brace that goes right, right across to the other side to give it bracing and structural integrity. And the idea now is, if I take a fall on either side of the bike, instead of hitting this tab, which is mounted straight onto the radiator, it's going to hit this steel frame and stop any potential 
damage to the radiator. Well, it's going to reduce it. I'm not. If you had a hard enough fall, um, I'm guessing this this part would bend in and then eventually hit that and then eventually snap it. But it's a preventative measure and it protects it up here too, which is really nice. Anyway, that's the. Um, oh, I think it's yeah, it's K. This is the KTM. Um, Radiator, prote ugh, radiator protector, and it's not cheap. I think it was two hundred and god, two hundred and twenty dollars or something in the two hundred range. There's uh, also a company by the name of uh, Rally Raid, and they also make a radiator guard for this bike, and it's. Pretty, it's pretty much the same. I'm not sure if it's aluminium instead of steel. It might be. And it's around the same price too. But in Australia, you've got to have it shipped because they are based in the UK, which is fun. Woohoo! Shipping! It's been Australia's problem since time began. Not to worry though. Fuck. I'm gonna wrestle with this fucking thing. Woohoo! Got it in. So, yeah, it adds a spacer so it sort of spaces this out slightly more. And on the other side, so it's even. Even Steven. Ah, oh, shit. Maybe the space was meant. No. Nope. Got it. Yeah, so any guy any any of you guys with a um any of you guys with a KTM 690 Enduro R, you might want to invest in that. Because as you saw, it doesn't take much to completely damage your radiator. And it's a good investment, like you know, it gives you protection, it's hidden, it doesn't add that much more weight to the bike. In fact, I'm guessing the weight is offset by putting this new Wings exhaust on because um, that's lighter than the stock. So yeah, pretty cool. So to brap, brap, property brap, 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 property brap, 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 property brap, 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 property brap, 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 property brap, 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 property brap.